What's up everybody, welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. We're here with Geralt and we're at Corvo. After last episode, I went ahead and followed Merlene when I was editing and she walked right through this damn door. And I can't believe I missed it all this time, but this is the damn kitchens. So we're gonna go through there and see about getting our food. After that, I'm really wanting to head over to the city. I think we should knock out some of the stuff in the city. I have the knight for hire quest in mind. I feel like we should do this first. I know Wine Wars is like right... It was like somewhere over here, yeah? Wine Wars right here. I would love to get this done, but this is on the outskirts. I feel like we should get done some of the stuff in here first. And with the main story, I'm thinking we should start breaking it up. After we do the stuff in here, start knocking out some of this stuff. Like, we got a bunch of these explanation points in here that's going to lead to more quests. So we need to do this stuff. But with the main story, I think I want to go maybe one more push after a few side things. And then I'm going to stop it probably for the remainder of the game until we get all the side stuff done and then go forward. Because I don't really know where the point of no return is. So just to play it safe possibly do maybe one more mission with the boot black do the boot black one and then after the boot black one stop it for a while and see what happens with a lot of the main stuff because we just didn't have a chance to do it yet i'm starting to think like okay this dlc seems really impact but i feel like once we actually start getting really on this binge of question marks and side stuff this is going to go really quick do you know what i mean and the main story is moving along pretty damn good. But one more thing I did think about before starting the episode here, right here, Count De La Crux's mill, the whole thing with Detla, I believe they were at this mill here. Because the gentleman that he killed was Count De La Crux. So we should check out this mill before we go into the city. After we get our food, we should head over here and See if there's actually anything here. We went here before, and there was notes. Remember there was notes? And I'm like, man, there's got to be something here. And there was nothing there. This is what I'm thinking is that mill that we went to. There was like a mill out here, or it was over here. It was one of them. But I'm thinking this was the mill that was in that dream that he killed De La Crux in. Because, well, he killed him at the mill, yeah? I mean, down here is where the inn was, yeah, right? Or... Where the hell was the inn? There's the Cockatrice Inn right here, so... If this was... Yeah, this is, had to be where he killed him, because the body parts floated up... Alright. Let's go to the kitchens. Let's head to the kitchens. I was thinking about going back over to where we stopped last episode, the main mission. But... Yeah, look at this. We completely missed that armor, so I don't think we're going to be able to get this playthrough, which is fine. Look at Marlene. All of this looking around for, and she's in here. She's right here. Hey, food. Hit me with it. I thank you for letting me stay. I cannot remember when last I was this happy. We already asked her this stuff. Friends. Why is it not grayed out? See you later. Take care, Witcher, and remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. And yeah, we already asked her that stuff last episode. Where's my food? Marlene, there ain't no damn food in here, ma'am. Yeah, there's nothing in here. We have to wait for her to cook. It's probably going to be right... I thank you for it. Yeah, yeah, we already... Talked about this stuff though. Should we just gray it out? See you later. Take care, Witcher. It's gotta and be a remember, bug. You always have warm food awaiting your return. We literally talked to her last episode. There's no way we didn't. I remember the conversations, but I don't know why it's not grayed out. It happens sometimes, but there's no damn food in here. Alright, Marlene. I want some food. Let's go to bed. Bye bye. Time to go to bed. <laughs> Careful, man. Every fucking time. I swear. Let's go to bed to the morning. And we'll see about if there's any food. 7 a.m. 
Let's wait till... Let's go to 9 a.m. 9 a.m. looks like a good time. Look, we got our good sleep in. Let's go to the kitchen, see if there's any food. If there's no food, then... I just don't know. I don't know when the hell we're gonna get food. Or where we're gonna get food. Oh, here it is! Grilled pork. Thank you. I always wanted that. Shall we eat it? What does it do? Friends, that was it? She just gives us some food that we can use in combat? I thought we were getting a buff here. By the way, this quest uh, feels like... Okay, Marlene. <laughs> what the fuck? I thank you for letting me stay. I cannot remember when last I was this happy. Okay. Bye-bye. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. Let's just, look, let's just go through the inventory and make sure it's not like a quest item. No, it's not a quest item. It was definitely right here. That's where it was. It was just some basic run-of-the-mill pork that lasts for like five seconds. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying because like, look at our inventory, friends. We have so much food that we just don't ever eat. We haven't ate food since Velen. We drink water, I think, is the only thing that I actually do. Alright, well, let's get the fuck out of here. We'll keep checking in Marlene. Maybe she'll have some kind of buff for food, but that... I don't know. There's a heart up there, though. Wait. Is that new? No, that's Vitality. The XP one, the horse one. Yeah, that's not it. Let's go. Feel like we're wasting time here. Let's get on out. Let's go over to that place and see if there's anything. Well, actually, let's take some stuff first. You never know. So we want... Water hag. Troll. Hinda. Let's get out. I just want to head over to that place, though. The... That has to be where that dream was. Chances are there's probably nothing there. But I just want to play it safe, you know? I mean, you never know what... There could be something here. There could be something more here. And I don't know if this is exactly the place, but I feel like it is the place. I hope no one sees us. Hey! What's up, fellas? Oh yeah! Look, he's talking knock the fuck out. <laughs> oh! Love me! Oh, where'd that guy come from? <laughs> the hell did he come from? Hey man, no need for that. Oh yeah, it's been a while. Let's take some water. Maybe we should have took Marlene's stuff in combat. Good riddance. Totally missed, huh? Well, we slaughtered peasants. A miss the mills, Chris? Wait, what's that? Use your Witcher senses to search the mills for clues? Fist tech? Well, shit. We're searching the mill for clues? See, because there was like notes, remember? There was notes on this place. Search the mill for clues. We picked up notes. Here. Yeah, look! There was one here, I know it. Yeah, we did come here. Okay. Let me... Let me look at these notes then. Because we had notes. Unless I got rid of them, but I don't think I did get rid of them. It would be in... Tournament participants. Hmm. Yeah, finding these notes in here would be pretty impossible. I don't see them. But I know we picked up some kind of notes here. I know I'm not losing it. But let's use our Witcher sensors and see what the hell is going on here. Oh, we got stuff. Footprints lead upstairs. No peasant's boots made these. Look at the journal, though. Let's read this. 
The division Geralt had experienced after in Biden resonance, he had also seen a mill. He soon reached the site and explored it thoroughly. After all, Detlef had recently been there himself. The Witcher hoped to find clues that would lead him to the murderer. The notes? Man, I just don't remember the notes. I know there was it was something about selling this place. That's all we got on it. That's all I can kind of remember. But it's probably in the log of stuff. It's just gonna be really hard to find. Blood. Lots of it. Not all human either. So this is where Dedloff lost his hand. And where he quartered Delacroix. Definitely the scene of the crime. Not likely to learn much else here though. All right. Well, that works for me. We know this is just where, yeah, I mean, this is where he dumped it all off into the water. Should we jump in there? Let's not. Yeah, there was notes. I do remember getting some notes here, though. It was on the lines of them selling it. I can look through the journal a bit more. But I just couldn't find it in there. But I know it was something. Anyways, that was short, simple. It was something now. Something on the story wasn't much, but it was something. All right, let's head over to the city here. I'm thinking knights for hire first. So we'll head to San Sebastian and then we'll walk this way. To be honest with you, let's head here first. Since this is getting gray, we'll knock out one of these opponents. This is one of the people we beat up, yeah? Defeat Colossus in the fist fight? Sure. Let's head to San Sebastian and then we'll walk our way over. See if we could actively do some stuff on the way. And then take it from there, huh? Chaotic. Let's just do things chaotically. You know, get it all done chaotically somehow. <laughs> it's rough to want to break up the main quest, though. It truly is, because it's really good. I still feel like we should go to Boot Black, and then after Boot Black, I'm hoping that it's like something that leads us somewhere that's kind of far. And it doesn't feel like a massive continuation from Regis' stuff. Because the boot black feels like a massive continuation. Alright, well, let's walk around. Let's see if we could actually get some stuff to trigger. Because it's been quite a while. Actually, you know... Let's level up. Let's see if we can have another one here. We can do piercing cold, baby. Let's get it. Oh, that's a bunch of reds that we probably don't want to use. This one, oh, that's a bunch of reds too. Actually, this one's not that much reds, but that's... We should probably go down this way. So that's four points now. We can pro- oh, we can get another one. Yes. Hell yes. Honestly. I don't think it's a point in putting the red here right now. Actually, yes, there is a point in putting the red there. Because we can do... We can get rid of this one. Tissue transformation. We don't need that. Get off. Then we'll put protective coating here. Poison blades here. Go ahead and get over there. Sure. And then we'll do... Strong attack. And then... The light attack one. We use light attacks way more. We'll get rid of this. And we'll put a big red on. Our health's gonna go down quite a bit. Which is kind of scary because we've been... Hanging on by like a thread sometimes with that little bit of health left. But that damage, 30% more damage is nothing to fuck with. Alright, we'll be okay. I think. We should be fine. I think we're looking good now. I don't think we should put any more points into... If you want my honest opinion... I don't think... Hold on, let's go back to it. I don't think we should put any more points into this stuff. Because we gotta put 5 ability points here. And... I just don't think we're going to get... 
We have to put eight. We gotta get eight. We're only at four, so we're gonna have to do... Yeah, there's no fucking possible way. We're gonna have to do... So this is five points here, and that would be one, two, three, four. That would be five. And then we'll have to do two more points here. Six. This one doesn't require anything. But it requires combat. Which requires this. So two points here. Maybe... I don't know, actually. Maybe we can put two points here. Does... Oh, you know what? It's just not showing how many abilities it's going to require until we actually get this one. Let's not put any more points into it. It's no point. We'll just fill out the rest of the abilities that we have. We'll max them out. There's no point. Not anymore. In my eyes, it feels like there's no more... <laughs> There's no more point to putting stuff there. Right? I feel like it's not really meant for this mode anyway. Did we ever go to this merchant here? Hey. Welcome, Snow White. Wish to look over my goods? Maybe we did. Mind if I glance at your stock? We need to find a barber. Oh, friends, we need to get black on black as well. We got gray armor dye, but we need black. Where can we get armor dye at? See ya. Besides just finding it, there has to be a merchant somewhere that we can buy armor dye from. Because we don't have black on black, we got black on gray. And that's totally fine for now. Look at this thug. Oh, excuse me. Alright, well... We're children? No, we don't want to do that one. Let's not do that one. Secondary quest, Night for Hire. Let's mark this one. But on the way to Night for Hire... Oh, it's right here. Let's go over here. Let's whoop someone's ass. Come on. Hey, where's the guy that needs an ass whooping? You seen him? Oh, hey. How do you like to do it? She's in her underwear just out here walking around. Look at her. <laughs> what the fuck? Ma'am, should we just, can we jump on the buildings? Let me up, I can't get to that, so we're just gonna go this way. <laughs> That's not the fucking way to get in here, but this works. Wait, I think I just saw boot black. Oh, a peacock. Really? Come on. Come on. Hey, there we go. Will you face Colossus? Folks say those of your guild pack a thunderous punch. He's as old as Father William. I smack him once. He spent a week wondering if anyone saw the crest on the carriage that ran him over. He's gonna smack us once and knock us. Look at this guy in the ring. Oh, this is great. Where's the way in? This is the way in. All right. So we totally easy. We could have just walked around. Places. Wait, look at this peacock, friends. It's walking down the road. It's so cool looking. Come here. Where are you going? Look at it. Wow, man. So awesome. All right, come on. Let's give this guy a, a wallop or whatever he said. Oh, now you look to be a man in search of exertion. Hey, White Locks, will you dare to fight Colossus? <laughs> White Locks Colossus, that's his name? Colossus. Interesting as monikers go. Or is that what his mother called him out of the womb, too? Why would she not have? Colossus. It rings out with pride and passion. So, will you fight? Let's do it. Uh, only a hundred? I was hoping it would be for a couple thousand. Fine. Let's fight. Ah, boring. I'm not interested. Quick I am, too quick for you. It'll be knick-knack, patty-whack, kiss your arm bone. Where's the sport in it? Don't want to fight? Why bother looking for challengers then? Wasting my time. Whoa, a bit testy, are we? A witcher, right? Let's do it like this. You parry three blows I throw your way, you win. But you can't swing at me, not once. Just deflect my blows, got it? 
catch three of them, and I'll toss you double your wager. Feeling that generous? No, I just know you can't do it. No one's ever done it. Too fast, see? So, willing to try for three blocks? Blocking your blows, no problem. Uh, did we win, though? Fine. Doubt I'll have any trouble deflecting a few blows. That I get. At long last, one with a sportsman's soul. Now, listen. The rules say you're not to start your parry until I've cocked my fist. Standing with your guard ups, not allowed. Ladies and gentlemen, witness a most peculiar fight. How shall I say this? The Witcher has accepted a colossal challenge. We're definitely not going to do this. We're going to have to just punch him. <laughs> There's one. Come on. Too quick for you, huh? Ah. There's two. Whooped your Incredible. ass. Incredible. The Witcher has parried Colossus's blows. No one's ever managed that feat. Here's your due. Thanks. Now to face the maestro, all you've left are rambles with Mancomb and the knight known as Still Waters. Seek out the knight in the heart of Oatville, near Mountebank Alley, whereas Mancomb loiters about the docks south of that district. Well, that was easy. Son of a bitch. I forgot fist sight and takes your stuff away. Damn you, fist fighting. So... Shit. Let's just take random shit. Ekamara, sure. Yeah, Foglet would probably be no use in Toussaint. It's never really cloudy here. Ancient Leshen, why not? Catacan, sure. I guess that works for now. Just in case we get into some shit. Well, that was interesting. I honestly didn't think we were going to do that. And I thought we failed once we actually... Let's go back this way, huh? Prince, can we get up here? We most definitely can. I feel like... I feel our death looming here. It's going to happen. Let's... Let's be careful. <laughs> Wait! It's raining into sun! Get out of here! Come on, knife for hire. Oh, that's Skellige's. Friends, how close are we on Skellige's deck? 14 of 19 cards? Wow. We'll mark this one. And then we'll knock some of uh, others' oh, paper, go to Cefanelli Bank. God, we got a lot of stuff here. We really do. We have a lot of just random stuff to do. Cooper's Gate? Let's read this. Experts know the secret to Toussaint wine lies not in the vines of its hills, but in the oaks of its forest. So desirable are barrels made from this wood, it seems loggers would cut the duchy clear until protests from angry druids stop them. After years of negotiations, a compromise was reached and a special organization, the Cooper's Guild, was created thanks to the strict supervision of the industry. Logging became sustainable and it became the richest guild in the city, as evidenced by the proud gate it funded. Ooh. I can't believe it's dreary in Toussaint. This is so wild. Has it ever happened before? It's like, look, it's thundering, raining, but it's not even raining. It's the rain is so scared of Toussaint's beauty that it's not coming down, but it wants to come down. It's just not doing it. Let's climb. Look at this, ma'am. <laughs> this is fucking great. I love this city so much. There's so much bustle here. Hey, man, how are you? 
Alright, and this is a... What place is this? Taylor's Workshop, though. Let's go in here. Let me get that. There's a note. But what is the note? Did it come up as a quest item? The note? Look, there's another note. We can't read these for some damn reason. Interesting. Hey, Taylor. You good? Sacre bleu. It's a crime. <laughs> You're from the north. That's painfully clear. Excuse me? There is no excuse. There is but the need to outfit you anew. My salon stands open. Please come in. I got a little bit of chafing. Can you handle that? I like to try something on. All jests aside, let me see what you got in your wardrobe. I'm more than willing, sir. Man, we need to. Oh, a mask. Look at this one right here. Elegant Boucler doublet. Friends, we're getting this. And we're getting these. This is new. I don't feel like we're going to. This looks awesome. We had to put it on. I'm just gonna say it. I don't feel like we. Wow, look at these masks, though. Bird mask. We already have a wolf mask, I think. Let's get it just in case. Let's get another one. In case we ever have to go to a ball again, because I feel like we're going to have to at some point, probably. But anyways, I don't feel like we're going to spend much more money here. I feel like we already hit the, um... The thrush point of the heavy stuff to pay for. So at this point, it does make me feel like we may actually be able to do them Witcher Gears. We'll see. We'll see by the end of the Let's Play. Care for a round of Gwent? Let's do it. Come on. In the mood for a round of Gwent? Gwent me, awesome hair. Did we get anything else? I don't believe we did. Check Triss out. She's just chilling in a, on the bench, man. <laughs> Friends, we only have a few more cards left in this deck. And I still feel like this deck is so underwhelming compared to Northern Realms. It just feels like it's weaker. And we only have, look, we're 14 of 19 cards, but let's take it in for a second because we may get more cards in the competition. But it says 14 of 19, and I feel like them couple cards won't really make this deck overpowered like I thought it was going to be. All right, well, our hand looks pretty good, actually. The whole Ermian... Friends, this hand looks really good. Let's go with it. It's powerful. I do think it's powerful, but I feel like it's easier to win with Northern Realms. Does that make sense? Like, I still feel like the spy stuff is, like... It's just too powerful. If it, it just is, kind of. This one needs some things. These last couple cards really need to be some great cards. I'm just hoping that's the case. Like, I wanted to prove me wrong. I really do. Because I'd rather use this deck no matter what. And I probably still u will use it even if I still feel like it's not as good as the other ones. But right now, I still feel like the Northern Realms is better. Let's just keep throwing down. We'll throw these guys down. And we'll buff with old gear, and then we'll probably pass. Well, shit. Maybe we shouldn't buff with old gear. Let's throw a spy down. Ooh, friend, you got kind of a shitty hand. He's still doing good, though. All things considered. Damn, that was really fucking dumb. Let's throw Ermian down. Because Jennifer can pull him out, and so can Berna. Which is fine. Ooh, yes! See, like, look, okay, like I'm saying... 
I don't want to bomb this deck completely, but I still feel like Northern Realms is better. But this deck has glimpses of greatness. Like, this card is so great. Amazing card. I just feel... Iffy at times. Oh, gear? Maybe? Why not? I feel like we want to pass, though. Get to the next round. You're not a Borchin. Maybe you are. Let's pass. Should we pass? Yeah, because we can still pull cards out. Let's pass to get to the last round. Fringilla! Okay. Well, we're still up on cards, at least. Damn. Was hoping Camby was going to stay. Oh, that's nice! Let's do it! What do you got with these baby cards here? Let's throw Yen down. And then we'll pull out... Oh, geared! I don't think we're going to be able to use this card here because it knocks down the highest on the table. And I believe it will knock down his sixes and it will knock down my six. My two sixes. So that would be no point. Let's do Burna. And then... do not matter. Pretty easy win here. Oh, you passed? See ya. Come on, give me something good. Look, 15 and 19. We don't have that much left. Young Berserker. All right, well, there's another Berserker. I have a feeling most of the rest of the cards will be Berserkers, which is fine. Come on. I really want this deck to be great. I wanted to beat the Northern Realms because the Northern Realms was just so good. We just used it the whole time. We never even went to the other decks. We did around Skellige time. I went to the monster deck at some point. I even think I did Scoia Tail too. Alright, there's things we should look for as well. North Guardian Embassy or something. What is this guy painting? Oh, that is an uh, awesome yes. painting. Is it that guy you're painting? Because it totally looks just like him. A storm, damn it. A storm? Oh. That's so crazy. I'm gonna keep saying it. Crazy! I don't know where this North Guardian Embassy could be. I feel like we've been around the whole city here. Is it on this side, I wonder? Let's go across that bridge. Let's just go across the bridge. Maybe ah. we can get... Excuse me, ma'am. Mm. Could there be a signpost here? But no, we went across this bridge with Anna Henrietta and nothing came up. Yeah. But for some reason, I feel like a North Garden Embassy would be like right here. But it's definitely not. This is crazy. I want to meditate and get out of the rain, but I kind of like it because it's just different for Tucson. The nice storm is square. Hmm. We'll find it. I think. What is this? The Duke Hill? And that's the place we have to go. Ah! Excuse me, ma'am. Let's just run around, though. Before we go in there. Because I really want to find this fucking embassy. There's a... Let me just look on the map. Let's try to see where it possibly could be. Could this be it? That's like a well. Looks like a well. I think the only places we really haven't been... Have we been down here? There's Fist of Fury again. What is this one? Till death do us part? Oh! That's another one. Well, we've been down here, but... We've been here for sure. I know we've been... This looks like a bull. It really honestly does. Maybe it's over here. I feel like we haven't been in this area, but we probably have and around this area here maybe up here
Let's mark Fist of Fury. Because they take us to two spots that I feel like I don't know if we've been. Hey. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful, ma'am. So is Toussaint, even when it's rainy and dreary. We already seen that guy. Alright, well, let's just keep running around. Let's just run through the city. Fuck it. Let's run through the city and open stuff up. This is a cool... What's he saying? Where are you guys going? These are Gwent people. Wait. Oh, we did come down here then, because this is where we came in at the Gwent tournament. Shit. So we did come down there, this way. Damn. No worries then. We'll just go over here and knock these last two guys out. Why not? Should we? Damn. I'm not sure where it could be then. <laughs> Excuse me, thugs. Nilf Guardian Embassy, right here. Whoa. Where did all these Nilflis go? Oh, it is right here. Good on us for marking this then. Toussaint is a vassal duchy of the Nilf Guardian Empire. Duchess Anna Henrietta is the rightful ruler of the region, but in practice she submits to the will of her dearest elder cousin, Amir Var and Reese. It was certainly out of concern for her enlightened grace and her little realm that the emperor founded an embassy in Toussaint consisting of a handful of dignitaries who dwell in the duchy full time and use their experience to help with her de facto enlightened decisions. Well, we have the North Guardian Embassy. We can go knock what's his face out. I'm having a hard time seeing. It is kind of dark here. Let's let's go to the morning. Let's get out of the rain. It's kind of darkish, and people. Even quest givers tend to go under stuff when it rains, and we might miss them. So let's just be careful. We're losing our buffs, though, unfortunately. Oh! Vavot. Vavot. Let me in, elves. Quite the bottle. Quite the bosom our Duchess has, don't you think? Yeah, I agree. 100%. She ripped that sh <laughs> Remember when she ripped it off? Ripped their fucking skirt off. Carol was checking her out. Alright, well, I don't really see ah, much going on around here. Let's at least go to... Let's go to 9. Go to around 9. See if there's anybody out and about with quests. Wow, we were really close to Nilf Guardian Embassy. Because we got ah, all that armor that stuff over there. Song. Interesting. Oh. Look how beautiful it is. So much easier to see. That be down. We can turn any frown upside down, ma'am. My deepest regards. Yes, rich. Messenger? Which, uh... Which, uh... I don't think there's anything nearby. I'm not seeing anything. Alright. Let's get on to the quest, then. Since there's nothing outside the Nilfgaardian Embassy. It could be down here. Well, this is the fist fight, obviously. What's up, Mancom? Do you wish to jump in? Considering it. So you're not surprised. Consider this as well. Here, intellect counts as much as strength. You see, Mancom is no ordinary fighter. Mancom? Odd name. I mean, a name's a name. It is kind of odd, though. Mancombe. First I've ever encountered that name. One should never judge an opponent by his name. Master Mancombe is a saddler, though a valiant one at that. His blows are as fierce as his riposts are sharp. Mancombe? Man. <laughs> terrible, man. Fucking terrible. It probably came out... Even more terrible, by the way, I pronounced it. Count me in. Sign me up, baby. Come on. We Fine. want more than a hundred. 
Oh, my knees quake like a carnival rattle. Let's get on with this ridiculous battle. I'm a top taunter, the best around, not one to be beaten by some inbred hound. I love <laughs> your mama. <laughs> I love how this guy's got our haircut. Hear how pathetic and stupid you sound, your mama? Rather fight the. <laughs> Can we go with your mom jokes? Come on. Guess you'd know, since your mom's a bitch. <laughs> ah, pathetic. This'll be easy. <laughs> What's wrong? Afraid? Got feeling queasy? <laughs> yeah, because you stink. More to talk and time to fight. Afraid I might kill you. Yeah, because you stink. Yeah, you stink something vicious. It's making me sick. <laughs> Give it up. Go home. Your efforts are futile. <laughs> Your wits as flaccid as a wet noodle. It kind of is, actually. <laughs> You're just too dumb to get the insults. <laughs> You're weak. See, why do you say that, you dim flap doodle? Too dumb to grasp insults this brutal. <laughs> uh, I've got to admit, you know how to roast a man. You win. Mean we're not gonna fight? Why? I told you, you've won. <laughs> the Witcher wins, beating Mancombe <laughs> at his own game. <laughs> you out-tongued me, but only because I'm under the weather today. I'd have lashed you raw otherwise. Right, sure. <laughs> My fucking face. Fucking face hurts, man. You've but one foe left before you can challenge the Maestro. The mysterious knight, Still Waters, famed throughout the duchy, his true face and name unknown. You'll find him in Oatville near Mountebank Alley. <laughs> Geralt's jokes were going pretty bad at first. <laughs> Did you see how he he made a joke and a rhyme at the same time? A joke and a rhyme at the same time, baby. He just did it right then and there. <laughs> Can we get on this fucking horse? Come on. Let me on. Sir Dir Yeah, he did die. Wow, we didn't have to fight that guy. Geralt's your puns were so good, it scared him. Friends, look at the fucking view, man. This is crazy. Awesome. Look at it. Come on. What is over here? Excuse me. You guys got anything good? Oh. Deliver us Don't touch me. me. I didn't mean to, ma'am. Witcher, save us from the beast. I will. That was Don't so amazing. Don't touch me. Where's the next fighter at? The next fighter's up here. All right. Let's get on Night for Hire while we have a few more minutes. Let's start it because we haven't got a chance to start fucking anything. Ah. We didn't start nothing. We're just having fun exploring. Like, this is what's going to take us ah. many episodes just exploring because it's just so much fun. There's so much to be had. And like, I'm super happy that that's going to be a thing because... With the way I play, it's going to take us quite a while. And I'm happy because I don't want to end The Witcher, friends. I don't know if I can physically end The Witcher. The I've been playing The Witcher for upwards almost 600 hours. Well, granted, most of them hours were... Not going to say most of them. Granted, at least 100 of them hours were me, like, during the Skellige days, just kind of going into the game and just listening to the relaxed music through the day when I was off camera. But still, I would say we're at least in the upward ends of 400 hours, and it's just gonna be so odd. So this act, the exploring and stuff, I'm hoping it takes fucking forever. Right and fitting, so which the Duquesa summoned and you and came. Drum, with colors yes, blazing like the sun, along the road to come with me, over the hills and far away. You are singing luscious, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, we have a knight for hire here. Before Let's see what have this. Oh, wait, that's how you get right to the abilities. Fairy tales Press to K? find the witcher or knight. Wow, you learn something new every day. 
we are almost at the end of the playthrough. I'm learning how to just go through the abilities. I literally always just hit escape and go right to the character. Oh my word. Night for hire. Go to the Duke L. Emerald Lango to learn the details of the contract. This is a contract, but it says secondary quest. Geralt came across an altogether typical looking notice. Someone was looking for the help of knights or other strong men. He concluded he met the above stated requirements and set off for Knight's Dormant Square to meet with the local Emerlango. Alright, well the Nilfgaardian Embassy we definitely have. I'm happy we went down here for the fist fight, because now we got to see where the Nilfgaardian Embassy is, just in case anything does lead us in that direction. But, alright, let's do this. Let's do the knife for hire, because it sounds pretty interesting. It's really vague, but... The Dukel family! Wow. Nice family. They seem happy, in the picture. Witcher. Witcher. The time of heroes is dead, Witcher. We men are the monsters now. We men are the monsters now? No. You guys aren't. Not all of you. Greetings, brave hero. I am Raphael de Surman, and I am the Ducal Camarlengo. I'm Geralt. So what is it you do here? I pay the knights errand. For what? Our knights wander the roads protecting Tusa from bandits and monsters. It is fitting and just that they be recompensed appropriately for these toys. Uh, note, sir, that should you successfully smash your hands, save a brother knight from peril, or extract a captured merchant from the hands of cutthroats, come see me. You shall be rewarded. Okay, interesting. Oh, he's got Gwent. Coin to pay the knights. Where does it come from? Can't help but be curious. Where do the funds for those payments come from? The Ducal Treasury, of course. Her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta, assigns great value to bravery and selfless patriotism. It is her standing order that any knight may receive a wage. <coughs> pardon me. Financial compensation for his dedication to defending the Duchy's internal security and order. You sell things too? Show me what you got. Wouldn't mind a glance at your books. Ones you're willing to sell, that is. Damn, he's got books to read? Oh my fucking backside hurts just looking at these. Did we just buy them all? What is the notes though? Interesting. Alright, well, I think we should buy all these books and we're not gonna read them all right now. But we'll just jump into them. Let's just buy all of them, the ones that we did not read. It's really not, they're not that expensive. Remember how Witcher 1 books were? Oh my god, we we would literally stack up our money just to fucking buy books. Thank you for making them really cheap. I really do appreciate that. Chances are we'll probably get these books in our travels, but it doesn't matter. That's what you spent a couple hundred crowns there. I just don't feel the necessity of saving up crowns anymore. I don't, I don't, like it, that weight on my shoulder that just, you feel really nervous and you want to save crowns because I don't know if we're going to have to spend more somewhere. Well, there was a quest item somewhere in there, something that leads to some kind of quest. Went. But anyways, it feels good to, does he, is he somebody for Gwent? Hold on. Can I back out? No. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? I don't know if he's somebody for Gwent, though. He might be. If not, we're playing it anyway. But anyways, what I'm saying is it feels good to finally get that feeling like we can just deal with whatever with money. We don't have to hold our breath because, well, shit, we might not get stuff done. Because I feel like at this point... Damn it! I hit the wrong one! That was really unfortunate. We got a really shit hand. I tried to get this one out and I messed up and got the dandelion card out. That's fine. They haven't really had great hands, these people that were playing.
Oh my word. Did you see this? Sure. That's pretty unfortunate. So if we throw this down, I'm thinking it would probably get everyone. Do we want to pull the cow off? If we pull- no, because if we pull the cow off, I don't think it stays. You ever notice how we always get Odim and Old Gear at the same time? It's like a package deal. What does this one do? Reduces the strength of all range. Oh, that would just really screw us. Our hand is not looking good, friends. I'm not sure what we can do. Besides passing, and then if we pass, he wins. Let's throw him down, and then pass. Let's see if we can get him to use at least... Well, he's at least going to use one more card, but I'm saying... Ooh, not looking good. Two more cards, wow. Shitty hand. Works for me, baby. The eight here, I wonder. Let's throw... The opponent has passed. Dude, you lost then. Oh. Never mind. I thought we won the first round. Never mind, never mind. Don't mind me. You may have lost, but... Alright, let's pull this off. Let's get him to throw more. Oh. We can't... Oh. We can Borge, or yeah, we can Scorch Borge. He's gonna pull Borge right back out though. Shit. I don't think we got this. No, we definitely don't. Maybe, oh my word, we just won by two. <laughs> what a match. Good on you. Good on you. You give me a card, sir. King Brand. There we go. Now we're getting it. What? So what do we have to do? Go to Dilko to learn details in a contract. Tell me. Greetings, Knight. Well, see you later. Go in peace for a night. Oh. Whoa. Holy shit. This is not just a little bit. I was about to say, wait, it's not it's not updating or something. Friends, this is not Oh my word. I get it now. I severely do get it, friends. Awesome. Really cool. I love that we got this quest. Because this quest is taking us everywhere. Look at all these things to discover. It's just everywhere. Did we actually do any yet accidentally? I don't think we did. Wow. Awesome luck. Okay. Well, that is good to know. I feel like there's no point in even marking this quest right now. Then we should knock out some more stuff in the city. Let's head on back down to, what is this? The Gwent Tournament. Ask the under, oh, this mysterious spoon. Let's go do that. Let's just knock random stuff out in the city then. We'll knock random stuff out in the city This for the rest of this episode. Before long, you will have to look to fairy tales to find a witcher or a knight. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but. Let me look around though. Let me make sure there's no more notes to read. Altogether, I mean, he did give us a shit ton of books to read. We men are the monsters now. We will read them at the ends of episodes. 
with your reaction. Unless some of them really are important. Which one of them <sighs> definitely is because this it made a noise. Alright, well let's head down to... Did we ever go to this alchemist before? I'm pretty sure we did. Alchemy supplies, yeah. Where is a damn barber at? What is this one? Till death do us part? That's another quest, actually. We'll mark this one because... Oh, and then we have this over here. Available quest. I think that's the granite one. Paper chase? Go to the Cifanelli Bank? That's fine. We'll do... The spoon one. And then we'll take it from there. And then next episode, we'll keep knocking stuff out in the city. And just seeing what happens. Seeing where stuff leads us. But I'm happy we picked up the night quest. Because I think we can couple that with... I don't know anything about the wine war stuff. I mean, obviously, why would I... Oh, shit, we went too far. Ooh, there's nothing... Is there anything around here while we're here, though? Like, I feel like there might be... Wait, there's a quest up in there. But... That was... It's that quest, who death do us part. That's fine. Let's mark this one. Kind of everywhere. That's stuff we I want to do next episode. I feel like this one with for Marlene isn't going to be too bad. Might be a quick one, but I don't really know. Speaking of which, we do need to go to Marlene's quarters or whatever it is, back in her mansion. In her luscious abode. And get her dowry or something. Wait, is this inside though? Hey, let me in. Get me in there. Then it's up. You can't get in that way though. Gerald here. What the fuck? Why is it locked? The this was the way to get in before. Tourney champion. Tourney champion? That was the way to get in before, was it not? Uh. Unless it's down. Uh. Whoa. Wait, what is this one? The bakery, though. Friends, that was the way to get in there before. Now it's locked. Is it locked until we get all the fucking... Cards? Ah. <clears throat> oh. Do you like it here? I love it here. Is that even a question, ma'am? Yeah, there's no way to get into that right now. Why did it go get locked on us? That's really weird. It's just randomly locked. Do you know what I mean? Alright, there's no talking to this lady right now. Unfortunately. So what do we do now? This quest is blocked off for some reason for now. Yeah, but... Like the Gwent tournament, we can just do it now. I shall be famous one day. As famous as you. Shit. Gerald is just... <laughs> He's climbing everything this episode. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do the Gwent tournament right now. I'm just seeing why and where would be the way. Watch it. Okay, it was about one of the nights that didn't go in the tourney. See, this one, where this guard is... Oh, who's this guy? How are you? Sir, the pair of Witcher in Beauclair. How's the nice to see you? Interesting. Welcome! Ahoy! Quint was perfected by Gorm for centuries of plot! None about to accept some new bloody... I'm thinking that we probably shouldn't even interact with this gentleman. Because this is where the tournament... Enter the tournament? This is his guard? Let's not... Let's not. 
I think that oh, it's locked uh, down because the tournament's like starting initiate. It, it can we can start it whenever we go over there and talk to that guy probably. I don't know you. I don't know you either, sir. All right, well that would be that then. What can we do next? We can go and knock this person out. Let's go knock this person out. And then we will catch up on a little bit of the codexes and then call it. I wasn't expecting that knife for hire to just push us all over the map. That is crazy amounts of stuff to do. Whoa. Look at this. Look at this interesting art. It's a person, then a skull, then a skeleton, ah! first then a skeleton. What does that signify? Something, right? Take good care Is it signifying their death? Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's something. My mind's gonna wander about this one. Sloth. It's got a person, then a skeleton, a person, then a skeleton. It's showing the person what they were in life, and then it's showing their... that they die. Kinda. Right? Like this guy. A baker, probably. And then he turns into a corpse. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. Greetings. Sorry, ma'am. You were just in the way. Alright. Well, there's the herbalist. Ark, Man, where is the Claremont, fucking barber at? Most gracious Duchess has hired a witcher to get at the root of these murders. Every resident of our fair town is hereby required to aid the witcher in any way he requests. We heard Ladies, this one. Ladies, gentlemen, <clears throat> to power oh, watch and sons, all manner of goods and services. Well, I would think at this point, friends, I feel like we've seen the whole of the city. We do this fist fighting here, and I'm feeling like we've seen it all. We got the whole city covered, almost. Stillwaters? Still waters? Come on! Come on! Come here! Look at this guy. Nice mask. Where's Stillwaters? Is he? Oh, there he is. Shall you face off against Stillwaters? Shall you? Shall you? Shall we? The knight, why doesn't he say anything? Like to know who I'm punching. This knight won't reveal his name or face. Won't say anything at all, not a word. Rein in your curiosity, sir. A knightly vow is no idle promise. Still waters shall conceal both face and crest until such time as one defeats him. So, will you fight or not? Sure. I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> Noble lords and virtuous ladies, another fight is soon to begin. Yeah, I was hoping more jesting, more joking. Come on, still waters. I don't think Stillwater's voice fits him. Come on. Come on, Stillwater's. Bring it on. Come on, come closer. Why are you getting whoop, Stillwater's? You stuck on the plant? Come on, I'm gonna throw a haymaker soon. You seeing this shit? Whooping the still water's ass. Haymaker! Come on. Knocked you right out. Ladies and gentlemen. The Witcher defeats the previously invincible Stillwaters. And what about it was? 
Freed of his vow, the knight can now show his face. Your blows are strong and true. My congratulations. Thanks. Have you naught to add? I'm a woman. No wry remarks? What for? It's the 13th century. Nothing peculiar about it. Women own taverns, run farms, and fight. Will you not claim there was no honor in fighting a wench? No. I'd expect to hear that from someone who was afraid to lose to a woman. A good fight. A sound fight. One that's earned you the right to challenge the maestro. You've only dishonor to gain should you back out now. You'll find the maestro by the docks. Well, we'll fight him and whoop his ass. There we go, still waters. What's her name? Bridget? You fight with honor. I must give you that. I, you know, I knew it was a woman. I just didn't want to, I, I kind of just didn't want to assume though. When we started hearing the voice, I didn't want to assume by any means, but wow, that's so cool. She gave us a good fight there. She walloped me pretty damn good. What Geralt said though, I love that. Good job, Geralt, good on you. It's 13th century, women own all types of stuff. No, there's no shame in fighting a woman. Hell no, we almost got our ass fucking whooped. All right, well, that will be that for now. When we come back, we'll obviously keep trekking around the city and knocking some more of this stuff out. Let's just do that. Let's just trek around the city and keep knocking some of this stuff out. We got a quest here, available quest to pick up. We got available quest to pick up here. I feel like that's a good sound strategy. We knocked the city out first. It looks like we picked up everything in the city though, as in all the areas. I don't feel like there's any more random explanation points that would be in these little nooks because I feel like we ran through it all, right? So next episode, we'll knock out some stuff here. There's more Gwent to be had and there's an explanation point. And then we'll do this quest and the explanation point and that too. But let's knock out at least one or two of these books before... Wait. Raging Wolf? Oh! We gotta beat Maestro. That's fine. Let's look at the inventory though. And look at... Oh shit. Friends. Before we head out. Hold on. We gotta look at this. Oh, that is so awesome looking. Look at it though. And then the boots that go with it. Oh, I really like that a lot. That looks so good. We'll just need to find pants for it. Wow, Geralt, it looks so good. The armor in this game is fucking top notch. It's like best armor in any game ever. All right. Let's start reading. Let's start stumbling over words here. Seems to be the right thing to do, huh? Let's see. Guide to the Vineyards of Toussaint, Volume 1. That's fine. Wilderness of... Wow. Alps, Brooks of Dangerous Cousins book? Yeah. Whoa. Fucking hell, there's 19. In the course of my research into Brookse, I have stumbled upon certain inconsistencies that in no way correspond with what we already know about the dangerous vampires. My investigations have revealed that the seemingly erroneous accounts were in fact describing an Alp, not a Brooksa. It is an extraordinary discovery, a true milestone in the classification of these monsters, even though legends tell of these vampires turning into pitch black hounds or venomous toads personally. I do not believe an Alp is capable of such polymorphy. However, it is almost certain that similarly to a Bruxa, an Alp may transform into a beautiful woman. This ability allows the species to blend seamlessly into crowds to think that I may have passed such a monster as completely unaware. Fascinating. One of the fundamental differences between Alps and Bruxa is their fighting style when in form of a vampire alps also possess the ability to turn into fog which allows them to move noiselessly and attack by surprise most likely this is the root of the name common folks have given them fleetlings wow let's see if any more stick out to us what's this one gwent a history whoa of fire and stone 
Kikimor's Truce Miss about Insidious Insectoids. A Code DeLeo. Forgotten Species, the Photo Flutter book. The History of Something. One Hunting Basilis. I'm just trying to see if anything sticks out completely. There's a lot of... It looks like monster ones. Shillards through the ages. Slizzards through the ages. Wow. We've never been able to read about slizzards. The only time I ever remember Geralt bringing it up was in the second game. He talked about it could be a, the dragon in the beginning, remember? He talked about it could be a fork tail or a slizzard. Adventures of Spiky and a white called Franconi? Bats and Shalimars? Oh, it's just a lot of hellhounds. Look, it's just, friends, it's just a lot of bestiary stuff. Interesting. Very interesting. I kind of want to read the hellhound one. Some monsters are born out of necessity, not because they are cruel, but because they have to defend themselves. For them, it is hunt or be hunted. Others are simply a mistake of nature, beasts brought to life by an evolutionary hiccup, so to speak. Both of these sorts of monsters we are able to fight, but there are also monsters born of sin. Wherever there is cruelty and envy, Wherever earth has been drenched in blood and rock soaked in suffering, there the hellhounds have their home. And as cruelty spreads, so too shall these monsters. They are the reflection of us, and to defeat them would mean to defeat ourselves. All that is left is to wait until we are torn to shreds by hordes of these demonic dogs. Wow. All right, well, let's do another one. I want to do slizzards. Slizzards through the ages. For many years, it was believed slizzards were simply wyverns in their highest stage of development. One scholar whose completions of an academic curse of study must have been the result of no small miracle. He didn't really defend it this point of view in a scientific work whose title I shall mercifully withhold. His main line of reasoning was an absurd and completely off the mark parallel drawn between the development cycles of the slizzard and the peers. Brosky? Something like that? Also known as the cabbage butterfly, a slizzard? Claimed the author. Is nothing but a fully mature wyvern that has developed fire glands. Utter rubbish, let it be known once and for all. That Charles von Lynn is a filthy flop doodle and an uneducated knucklehead. A slizzard is not by any means the same beast as a wyvern. Ooh, I can't wait to actually see what a slizzard looks like. All right, well, that'll be enough for now. We will keep diving into more of these books at the end of each episode. But then again, if there's one really important, obviously, we need to get it done right then and there. So if there's any one that is super important... We should read it. We'll have to. We'll have to get it done. But I feel like. We should be fine. Because we're not doing main quest for quite a minute. And yeah, we might do the boot black one pretty soon. But after the boot black one. I'm thinking about stopping for quite a long time. We'll probably actually 100% the game. As in all the side shit. Before we finish what's after. Before we even start what's after the boot black. I think it's that time to completely stop the main stuff. At least we'll see boot, boot blacks before the end. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Like I said, when we come back next episode, we're going to keep on going around the city and knocking out some more of this stuff and then making our way to the outskirts. And once we, when we start in the outskirts, we're going to start at Wine Wars. Because if Wine Wars is anything like Night for Hire, which is sending us all over the fucking place, then we have our path. That's exactly what our path is. Wine Wars and Night for Hire will take us everywhere we want to go and we will knock shit out on the way. Anyways, take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe. Witcher. See you next time. Take care.